welcome to the final video of our driver training tutorial series. Uh, hopefully so far you've been able to pick up um, some information or tools that you can use um, and today we're going to have a look at another one of these um, which is Optimum Lap. Um, so the team has made previous videos on Optimum Lap um, which is basically a program that can be used to um, calculate a theoretical, theoretical best lap time given um, input data for the car. Um, so I'm not going to focus much around the program as a whole. I'm going to focus more around um, how you can import a track using the GPS data from the MoTeC. Um, so I'm going to go and open my um, Optimum Lap. So once you open it, it will have this email address and license key. Um, to get one of those, you'll just need to go to the Optimum Lap um, website and you have to click this Get Started um, and they'll send you a license key um, like they've sent me here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those in. And it'll open up your Optimum Lap. Um, I'll open up the project. Um, that the team has been working on. So I've downloaded this from um, Microsoft Teams um, with the new AC Microsoft Teams. It's in this Optimum Lab practice and it's called practice um, for some reason. So once I open this, we'll see how we can uh, import a track. Alright, so that's opened up. Um, now we can see all the previous um, car models that the team has built um, and the previous um, tracks that they've also built. Um, so you can see Winton V2, for example. Um, and how these were created were um, having a 2D map of this track um, and creating a Creo sketch that is basically then converted into a series of straights and corners with corner radiuses, um, which are then input into here, which you can see, uh, especially for a large track like this, um, is quite a lengthy process. Um, so that's made in this create tab here. We put in our um, straights um, and corners, um, but what we can actually do is convert from data. Now that we have a GPS unit on our MoTeC, we can use this feature. So if we click that um, convert from data, it uh, opens up a web link for the Optimum Lab Track Maker. Um, and it's a pretty simple procedure to follow in here. You just have to um, apply all the track names, city. Um, these will all be publicly available. Um, so if for whatever reason you don't want it to be publicly available, you can't use this. Uh, method. Um, the data frequency, okay, so here is where you um, input your log data. Um, so they provide an example file of what file of what format you should put for your data, um, which have I've opened up here. So you need basically your distance in meters, speed in kilometers per hour, and lateral acceleration. So to get that, we're going to go into our uh, MoTeC R2 Pro software and I'm going to open up my um, data that I just got in the previous video um, for the Newcastle car track in the simulator. Alright, so I've opened up that um, file and once I'm in there I can then um, export the data. Um, I want it just for a single lap so currently I think I'm on the fastest lap so that's fine. Um, and then I want to include, I don't um, really care about any of these details, um, and I want to export it as a CSV file uh, and include the distance data because if you notice one of our um, columns was distance. Um, so the output rate, they recommend um, between 5 and 10 hertz. Um, and obviously we have 10 hertz already written there, so I'm just going to export it at 10 hertz. Click export on that. Um, have to save it somewhere. I 
Mutek folder. All right, so then I'll head back to, sorry, I'll have to probably um, delete some things in that to make it um, compatible. So if I go to my Motec folder, was it saved? In my um, C drive. All right, so there's my um, CSV there. I'll open that one up and see what we have in there. Um, so obviously you can see it's exported every single one of our um, channels that are being logged. Um, and now we only need three of these. So basically I want this like that. So all I need is my distance speed and lateral acceleration. So I'm gonna get rid of all of this up here. there's an easy way of doing this but unfortunately I didn't do info 1010 yeah there we go all right so the first column here um, is already distance which is good um, then I need I don't need ABS ABS ADR I'll just delete these at a certain time I'm looking for the next one I'm going to need is um, one of these, lateral acceleration. So I'm going to need that. Um, and I might insert this column and write it speed here in kilometers per hour. Um, now I'll have to go across, I think it should be called corrected speed. Ground speed, there we go. So I'm going to want to copy that column across and have it as my second column there. Once that's done, I can delete the rest of this data. All right, so I have my um, distance, my speed, and my lateral g-force. Um, I should call it the same as what they have there. Acceleration, um, and I have just over a thousand meters. All right, so I'll save that over the top, um, and now I can go back to here, choose my data file. So this is in my drive, Motec, Newcastle Cart, um, and I have to click this box, agree to make the track publicly available. I'll click upload. Track's been successfully uploaded, it may be automatically downloaded, um, which it has here. So obviously it's not going to have a um, program to do that. So if I head back into my Optimum Lap, I can then click this Import button. And it should be in my Downloads right there. I can click Import for that. Double click on my Newcastle Cart Track. And you can see um, it's right there, my track. It's already imported all these um, straight length and corner radiuses in automatically. Um, very occasionally you'll go through and you'll see some of them might be um, incorrect, especially in a more um, autocross style track where there's a lot of slaloms. Um, however, you can just adjust the corner radius for each of those manually. Um, you just double check check all this data so it's forward facing so that was the correct direction which I was going around um, and so that's all right um, now if you want to do any simulation on that um, you can simulate perhaps we wanted to see how EV2 would go around the Newcastle car track we can simulate for that um, and then you'll see if of speed traces or um, lateral acceleration for that, uh, which is pretty handy. So we can actually compare this um, theoretical data with either our real life data gained from our tracks or our um, data gathered from our simulator. So it's just another tool um, that we can use to validate 
different approaches of the team. All right, so I think that's all for this video and for the driver training tutorial series. Um, hopefully you're able to pick up some skills to hit the ground running. Um, if you have any questions at all about anything, don't hesitate to um, send me a message or anyone else that might be able to help. Um, and I wish you all the best in your driver training pursuits.